Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Double honors to the apostles and elders. Much respect to you brothers out there that's preaching this word in the truth and sincerity. And you brothers and sisters that's out there listening and learning. Pretty much we out here, camp today. Man, uh, before I came up here, <laughs> I drunk some coffee and boy, it had me running, man. It had me running. I was like, damn. It had me thinking. It's like, man, I can't wait till we, you know, Lord willing, I can't wait till we get them spiritual bodies, man. So we won't have to, won't have to worry about coffee making you run to the restroom, man. <laughs> man, I was like, bro, really? I'm over here trying to start camp and I gotta, I gotta go over here and run to the restroom. But anyways, um. I guess today's lesson or uh, something around that means uh, is, is how to make it to the kingdom of heaven, how to make it to the kingdom of heaven and, and how to be one of the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. All right. You know, brothers that's new to this thing, you know, it might might be pretty good. So I hope it's an edifying lesson. And, um, you know, even if you've been in this for a while, you know, I, I, I often when I'm watching other brothers' videos, you know, I might. But me watching other brothers' videos, you know, I get I get edified. You know, I might forget a precept, might have to write that, write it down. All right, but it's all good, man. It's all good. So, um, this is Second Corinthians 10 and 12. For we dare not make ourselves. Actually, you know, if you call it the preacher's word, preacher's word, keep the commandments to the best of your ability, have the whole doctrine, learn from the brothers that have the whole doctrine, you know, from, you know, GMS, all right, brothers in GMS is teaching the 100% doctrine, all right, you know, I, I when I first came in, you know, I was watching uh, uh, camps, this camp over here, this camp over here. And then pretty much, you know, GMS caught my eye. And I'm like, man, you know, they go fire, all right? They making videos, uh, uh, several, some brothers, several videos a day, uh, several videos throughout the week. they answering questions. I'm like, man, these, these are the real men of the Lord, all right? So that's what we hope to be, man, to be on fire, all right? With us rising up, you know, it's, it's prophecy, man. It's, it's prophecy and it's beautiful. All right, so we dare not put ourselves in the in the number, all right, to be the greatest. But we hope, you know, through our actions, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshad deems us worthy to be the greatest in the kingdom. That's what we hoping. We hoping to make it. We hoping that our, if you have children, that our children be saved. All right, but you gotta walk upright. You gotta keep the commandments to the best of your ability. You gotta have faith in Yahweh Shah and, and man. Just got to endure to the end at the end of the day, man. All right. So let's get some scripture. Because uh, first, you got to get this knowledge. All right. Like I said earlier, I learned from the Brothers of Great Millstone. All right. GMS. You know, I was taking notes, learning. Although I'm not in GMS, you know, I guess I am in GMS in spirit. Because those are the brothers that I rock with, man. Those are the brothers, you know, those brothers and like-minded brothers, all right? Just going out here preaching the, preaching the word, preaching the name of Yahweh Shem Yahshah, being out here in boldness, all right? You want to follow like-minded brothers, all right? So first, you know, to, to make it to the kingdom, you got to get this knowledge, all right? So I guess I'm going to get um, Isaiah... 30, let me see where's that, 30 and 20, all right, this is Isaiah 30 and 20, and though the Lord give you a bread, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet ye shall not, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, 
and thy eyes shall see thy teachers, all right? It's the first step of getting this knowledge, man. All right? You go on the, um, you go on YouTube or whatever site, you know, even Facebook here and there, you know, you see your teachers out there preaching this word, all right? And you also go out to the uh, streets and, and you see your uh, uh, teachers out here preaching the word, all right? They're not out here, you know, in a pulpit, all right, behind closed doors. They actually out there in the streets for brothers to, you know, ask them questions, all right? And now, you know, we getting near to the end, you know, the elect is pretty much being sealed, all right? Because as we see here, you know, the famine of the word is coming. So we got to get this word, you know, if you're new in this thing, even if you, you know, old into this thing, you know, still get this word, still get this knowledge as much as you can right now and have this uh, uh, knowledge in your heart in your secret places, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel one. I mean, uh, three and one. All right. So, like I said, you gotta get this knowledge first. All right, before you even, you know, start to try to teach and, and convey others, you know, to come into the ways of how about me outside. Get this knowledge first. All right, so this is Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou, eat that thy finest, eat this robe. All right, that's pathetic, man. You know, that's that's a similar to, all right, he's not telling you to actually eat this book. He's telling you to eat this knowledge, get this knowledge in, in your heart, in your mind, all right? Eat this robe and go speak unto the house of Israel. So after you eat this robe, you get this hundred percent doctrine. Go out here and speak it to the to the children of Israel. So you're gonna make these videos, all right? You're gonna get this knowledge. You're gonna make these videos, and come, you're gonna convey your people to come into the house, all right? Whether they be good or bad, all right? And and that's for you. How about you, me outside? It's job to to sip them out, all right? So eat this roll, eat this knowledge, man, because this knowledge is good. It's sweet, and it's also you know bitter. All right, with the sweetness is is understanding. And she is like that that salvation is only for you. You're gonna be ruling in the kingdom. You're gonna have that spiritual body. All right, you're gonna live forever. You're gonna have children upon children. It's, it's just gonna be beautiful. But the bitterness is that you know Jacob's trouble is coming. All right. So with Jacob's trouble, we we understand that there's a, a lot of death and destruction. All right, that's coming to this place. All right. Verse 2, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat this roll. So you eat this roll. You're getting this knowledge, all right? That's what's beautiful, man. You, you're getting this roll. You, you're getting this knowledge, all right? You see your teachers on YouTube and, and out there on the streets, all right? Because the real man of the Lord is going to be out there on these streets, man. All right? In boldness. And he said unto me, son of man, and he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels <clears throat> with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it, and it was in my mouth as as honey for sweetness. So when you get this knowledge at first, you know, especially when I first came into this thing, you know, all the other brothers and when they first came into this thing, you know, this knowledge was sweet. This knowledge was beautiful, man. All right, it was all praises to Yah Bashim outside. You learned the name of, of, of the Lord. You learned the true how to truly call on the name of the Lord. Mm. Excuse, excuse me. And you got this knowledge. Mm. All right. Let me see. Um, also, getting this knowledge. Let's uh, let's jump down to um, verse five. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech in a hard language, but to the house of Israel. So this knowledge is only for the house of Israel, all right? For them to understand that the kingdom of heaven is for them, all right? So it's beautiful, man, when, when you first come into this thing. Like I said, when you get this book, when you eat this roll, it's sweet, but it also has limitations and woes in it, all right? Let's get a uh, Revelation 10 to 10. 
Because it's going to pretty much say, say says the same thing. All right, this is Revelation 10 and 10. All right. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. All right. This is John. All right. He ate the book and it was beautiful, man. You know, he got this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. He ate that book. All right. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. As soon as I eat, eaten it, my belly was better. All right. Why was it better when he, when he uh, when the knowledge came into his belly? All right, it was better because you know, as I said earlier, you got to go through Jacob's struggle. All right, to get the kingdom, you got to go through Jacob's struggle. All right, that's part of this knowledge, man. And you understand that you know, some of your family members, some of your friends, you know, since they don't want to come into the ways of Yahweh Bashim outside, follow the commandments to the best of their ability, they got to be destroyed. So, you know, that's, that's better, man. That's the bitterness of this truth. <laughs> Let me get uh, Proverbs 16 and 16. One of my favorite scriptures. All right, this is Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? All right, because we understand that riches profit not in the day of wrath. So when you got this knowledge, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in your heart, when you eat it up, when you eat it up, when you eat this roll, all right, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, because it's going to be the stability of that times when everything goes goes to hell over here, all right, it's, it's, it's much better than gold, all right, because you understand that, you know, if you have faith in your how about me outside, that he's going to keep you. <laughs> All right, so that's why we out here preaching this word, teaching our people, making these videos, and hopefully, you know, y'all by see me outside deems us worthy to get to be uh, caught up in them chariots and not to taste the second destruction. All right. Uh, let me see. I can actually uh, keep reading a little bit on this. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. All right, so when you get this knowledge, you're going to be upright and you're going to depart from evil. You're going to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. That's how, that's one of the ways of, of entering into the kingdom, to be one of the greatest. All right. He that keepeth his way pervert, preserves his soul. So you keep your ways in Yahweh Bashim outside, you're going to preserve your soul. So, Lord willing, you keep the faith and endure to the end. All right. Pride, all right, this one, all right, verse 18, pride goeth for destruction. So, you know, when I when I be talking to these Christians, you know, I got a brother, all right, he's, he's uh, in the Christian thing. He don't even read this Bible. He thinks that he knows his word. But what's going to happen to him, man, that that pride on him, man, is going to end up going to be his destruction. Because the Lord sent someone, you know, being me, to let them know that you're an Israelite, that you got to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments, see how about me outside. But he just want to, you know, stay in his Christian doctrine and, and do whatever he wants. And he's going to see, you know, the hard way that yeah, how about me outside ain't dealing with Christianity like that, man. Not at all. And a hearty spirit before it fall. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what else I want to get. Um, since we in Proverbs, let's get a Proverbs 11 and 1. All right, but also with this knowledge, you understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, he, he controls all spectrums of this earth, all right, whether it be good or bad, all right? How are you going to be the supreme being and, and you just all love, all right? It don't make sense, especially when you come into this knowledge, man. When the Lord opens up, open up your knowledge, opens up your understanding, all right? This is Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh thy power, but a just weight is, is his delight. All right. So like I say, he controls every aspect, every spectrum. A man's goings is of the man of the Lord, is of the Lord. All right. He controls everything, man. You having the boldness to go out here and preach, you know, you got to thank Yahweh Bashim Yahshua for that, man. 
because actually, you know, the Lord is only dealing with a remnant. You know, people in my city, all right, you got pretty much IUIC here. It's like the only camp here, which I believe, I don't really see them, but I believe they like the only camp here where I'm at. They only uh, uh, preach the word outside. Everybody else here that knows that they're Israelites, they're not out here preaching this word. I'm like, man, that's, that's sad. That's pretty sad. All right, you got to count it as a blessing, man, that, that the Lord chose you. Come out here with, with boldness, man. All right. You got to pray for that boldness. Pray for that confidence. And thank you all by seeing me outside for waking you up to this truth. All right. Because he's only dealing with a remnant. So if you're the only one that's in your city, like myself, that's preaching the name of Yahweh Shem outside, you know, all praises, man. And hopefully he sees your sacrifice. All right, hopefully he sees your sacrifice and deem you worthy to uh, get beamed up in them chariots. <clears throat> all right. So this is Proverbs 11 to 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. All right, you got that pride. You thinking that you know everything. All right, before I came into the truth, I thought I knew this Bible, but then I heard, you know, the brothers out here that's preaching this word, you know, I, I've never heard the Bible preached like that. And then I realized, you know, I got to get that pride off me and humble myself. And that's when I got that wisdom. All right. Let's see. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with lowly is wisdom. All right. You got to put, your, put yourself down low, man. Humble yourself. Humble yourself so you can get this wisdom, all right? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Get this book, man. Eat this robe, all right? Uh, let me see. Uh, jump down to verse 4. As we read in, in uh, Proverbs 16 and 16, wisdom is better than gold. So this is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. That's, that's, a, that's a bad scripture, man. Because even though, you know, you know, before I came into this truth, I, I, I wanted to be rich. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us brothers out here, brothers and sisters, you know, out here, before we came into the truth, we wanted to be rich. But then, you know, you hop out see me outside, he, he woke you up. He was like, man, you know, this ain't the best. So we got to build up our riches in the kingdom of heaven. We have that uh, riches built up. Because think about it, man. Pretty much, this, this is like the best job that you can ever have, man. You're building up riches in the kingdom of heaven. You ain't got no money taken out, man. You know, like your 401k or uh, say you got like insurance or whatever or, and taxes. No, with you coming out, putting your body as a living sacrifice and preaching this word, you're building up and storing up riches in the kingdom of heaven. All right, and so when you get to heaven, Lord willing, all right, which is heaven is on earth, all right, Lord willing, you get to heaven, you get that crown of glory, and it's gonna be way better than these NBA players, NFL players, these singers, actresses. You know, you you gonna have way more riches than them on this side of the earth. So all praises, man. All right, but it doesn't mean you know. If the Lord blesses you well on this side and you're keeping the commandments, you know, all praises, all praises. But we understand that no matter how much money you have, you know, it's, it's not going to profit you. And also with you getting this wisdom, knowledge and understanding that we understand that uh, the mark of the beast is a chip as well. So they're going to go into a, a cashless system. All right. Uh, let me see. I can get uh, Isaiah 28, 8. It's a lot nice early, and now it's all windy. That's all right. Uh, yeah, Isaiah uh, 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and who shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are a key point, key point. 
them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. So when I first came into this truth, all right, when you see brothers out here preaching this word, all right, they had to humble themselves. You have to humble yourself. You have to get this milk. All right, you got to become as a, as a little child. All right, verse 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So that's how you that's how you preach this word, man. And, and that's how I, I, I had to learn it. All right. Precept upon precept. Let's see what else I want to get. Um, since we in Isaiah, let's get uh, Isaiah 34 and 6. All right, this is Isaiah 34 and 6. Mm. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I think I wrote down the wrong one. Let me see. I, Isaiah 34 and 16, Salakia. Salakia. All right, so this is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. All right? You're getting this knowledge. You're eating this roll. You're seeking out the book and you read it. All right? None of these things shall fail. None shall want her mate. So no matter, you know, you got the book of Islam or whatever, it ain't going to match up to, to this Bible, man. It ain't going to match up, all right? None shall want her mate. So like, yeah. For the mouth hath commanded it, and the spirit hath gathered them. All right? There's a spirit, you know, Yahweh Shemi outside is gathering up his elect. He brought his men out down here to teach his word, to teach his true doctrine. So that's all praises, all right? So the Lord is only dealing with a remnant, so we got to understand that as well. So if you don't want to use it, like myself, it's coming out here, you know, whether it's cold or hot, preaching his word with boldness, all right, he's only dealing with a remnant. Like I said, I, I, there's like a whole bunch of Israelite camps down here, but they only they only in the uh, classroom, all right? And the real man of the Lord is going to go out here and preach his word. All right, in season and out of season. All right. So next one, um, so I can, it's keeping the commandments. All right. So if you want to enter in the kingdom, you got to keep the commandments. So let's get um, Judges 5 and 11. Judges 5 and 11. All right, this is Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noises of arches in the places of draw, drawing water. All right, so it's pretty much speaking about the nuclear missiles. All right, how are we going to be delivered? There shall, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So we're going to rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Hashem outside, which, which he gave unto us, man. All right. You're gonna, you know, you come into this truth, you're not gonna eat pork anymore. You're not gonna eat shrimp and lobster anymore. You know, before I came into this truth, you know, shrimp, shrimp and lobster was was like one of my favorite foods, man. And the Lord made it into a way, you know, before I came into the truth, where every time I ate that shrimp and lobster, man, I, I got I got super, super sick, man. You know, and, and that's a curse from the Lord. But that's all praises, because now I understand when I came into the truth that I'm not supposed to be eating that anyways. So all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua for him doing that to me anyways. All right, because I ain't supposed to be eating that. And also, you know, when I was eating pork, he also made it to a way, even though it, it just got to a point where it was just like, man, you, you just, you start getting sick. All right, so that's all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All right. Let me see. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the village of Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. So Lord willing, you know, we rehearse in the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. And, and he deems us worthy to get in to get in them chariots, to get beamed up in them chariots. Alright? Let's get a uh, axe. 
three and nineteen. Bear with me. Uh, slack you. Come on. All right, so this is Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. All right, you gotta repent. You gotta be converted into the uh, uh, true, truth of Yahweh Shem outside. That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right, so Lord willing, you know, you, you in this thing and uh, uh, you repent. So that's why, you know, when you properly repent, all right, when you properly do that, he sees your sacrifice and you're not out here uh, putting iniquity upon iniquity, all right? You ain't, you ain't going to be putting iniquity upon iniquity and be like, oh, man, you know, y'all about to me outside, got me. No, man, you, you're a wicked, man. All right? You come come into the way of y'all about to me outside and you understand, you know, you're aware what you do. So you watch out what you say and you watch what you do. <clears throat> All right? Let's get um, Matthew 5, 48, I believe. Uh, All right, so this is Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is heaven, is perfect. All right, so Yahweh Shah, you know, he came down as an example of what to be, of what to be like, man. He was an austere, he was a strong man, preached the word in season and out of season. He had to dodge. He had to uh, dodge all these uh, wicked Negroes. All right. Damn, funny. <laughs> but anyways, he had to dodge all these wicked Negroes. All right. He was an austere man, you know. So he's he's our example of what to be. He kept the commandments perfectly. So when we come into the stain, we try to keep the commandments per perfectly. That's why we were rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, you also go to the Job, you go to the book of Job, it says Job was perfect. All right. So we got men of the Lord, which Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai gave unto us as an example of what to be. And he, and he gave us men, all right, and other people of how not to be in this thing. So that's why you, you got to get into this book. You got to read. You got to uh, learn the true doctrine so you won't steer into all uh, all these other paths man all right so let's get uh let me see since we in matthew let's get matthew this is matthew slakia this is matthew 19 and 17 and he said unto him, Why thou callest me good? There is none good but one. All right. Even though Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, when he came down, you know, he, he said, Why are you calling me good? All right. The only one good is, is Yahweh. All right. He's perfect. All right. But if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. So that's plain and simple, man. All right, you wanna you wanna uh, get into the get into the kingdom. Got to keep the commandments, man. All right. So the next thing is pretty much going out there and preaching the word. Let's get Isaiah. All right, cause you call you call to come out here and, and preach this word, man. All right, if you. All right, and I'll say this: if you call to preach this word. You're supposed to come out here and, and preach this word. No, you may be your brother like, man, I don't think I'm called to preach this word, but you're learning these precepts and getting built up in the spirit. You might be, you never know, you might be called to come out here and preach this word. All right, don't put yourself down. Don't call yourself a child. Come out here, you know, keep on studying, keep on doing it. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, it's Isaiah. 
30 and 20. Oh, I already read that. But anyways, that's how I already read it anyways. Um, I'm just reading it again. And though the Lord give you a bread of adversity and a water of affliction, you should, yet shall not your teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. All right? So how is Israel going to gonna know that there is a light, man? If you're not out here preaching this word, man. You know, brothers out here, like I said, I know brothers out here that, that know there is a light. It's just only preaching it, preaching in a um, preaching in a little classroom or whatever, man. You're taking little shortcuts, man. Lord told you to come out here and, and preach this word, man. All right. I'm gonna get uh, Jeremiah one and five. <coughs> Sound like my voice is going out. Oh well. So it's Jeremiah one and five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. All right. So brothers out here, you know, counting it as a blessing that he chose you to actually come out here and preach his word, man. Because before he formed you in the belly, all right, he knew you. All right. And and, and that's a blessing, man. That's beautiful, man, that, that he chose you to come out here in, in great boldness and preach his word. All right. So let's read it again. Before I... Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Beautiful, man. So like I said, count this as a blessing, you know, because the Lord's only dealing with the remnant. That he chose you to come out here and, and preach his word. All right. He chose you among all these other Israelites because the Israelites is of the sands of the sea. All right, he chose you out of that, out of that huge number of the Israelites, and, and ordained you. All right, so you got to come out here with great boldness and act like you of the elect. With you acting like you of the elect is, is keeping the commandments, preaching this word, and having faith in your help by outside. All right, because faith, faith is important. All right, verse six, and I say, Ah, Lord. Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. You know, that's that's how I was, man. That's literally how I was, man, before I came, started coming out here, man. I was like, really, Lord? You you chose me to come out here and, and preach this word? I'm like, nobody else out here is doing it. You know, the Lord, and, and I can see for myself, nobody else out here doing it. Nobody else out here uh, coming out here, you know, risking their lives and their freedom coming out here, you know, preaching this word. I was like, man, I'm still new to this thing, man. He was like, man, man, don't say that you a child. That's what he was saying to Jeremiah. You're supposed to eat this roll, get as much as you can, get studied up, and come out here and preach this word. All right? Don't say that you a child, man. Know that, you know, you got this 100% doctrine, this 100% truth, and, and faith in your about streaming outside. You ain't going to be dismayed, man. All right? You ain't going to be dismayed. It's like it's, it's all windy out here. <clears throat> Verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. All right? So the Lord told his man to come out here to the nations, man. Boldness and preach this word. All right. Verse 8, key point. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith Yahweh. All right, don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed about these uh, uh, these other Israelite faces, these other nations' faces, no matter if they looking at you crazy. All right. We fools for Yahweh by streaming outside, man. That's why we out here preaching this word. All right, they may call us crazy, but they're going to look at the strangeness of our salvation, Lord willing. <clears throat> when we caught, you know, Lord willing, when we caught up in them chariots, and they're going to be like, man, I should have listened, man. Oh, man, those those Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those those were the true men of the Lord, man. They, they getting caught up in them chariots, 
and, and, and we stuck here to be destroyed by these nuclear missiles. That's crazy, man. You know, that's how they're going to be. Like, it's going to be like, man, that's that's crazy, man. Watching you get beamed up in that chariot. So endure to the end, man. Keep keep pushing this word. All right? So don't be dismayed at their faces. All right? Um, verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. All right, that's, that's like reading in uh, Ezekiel, in Revelation 10 and 10, Ezekiel 3. You know, you ate this book. The Lord put this word into your mouth, all right? Put this word into to your heart, all right? Because when you got it in your mind, you got it in your heart, you were able to come out here and preach this word, all right? So it's a beautiful thing that the Lord... You know, you out here preaching his word. You out here, you know, keeping the commandments. You know, all praises that he chose you to wake you up. Because like I said, he's only dealing with a remnant. All right? He's only dealing with a remnant. And, and the blessing, you know, dealing with the remnant, you know, that's that's how when, you, you know, Lord willing, when you get into the kingdom, that's how you, you're going to have like so many, so many children, man. So many children in the kingdom. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. Lock it. It's, it's all windy out here, so bear with me. Let me see. All right, verse ten. See that. See, I have this day set. He over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. So man, you know, that's that's what the that's what Yahweh by Shimmy outside has called you to come out here and do, man. Alright? He's called you to to set to be over these kingdoms, man. Alright? Cause you you fighting against these these uh, uh spirits, man. You fighting against these bad spirits out here, man. But you you know coming out here in righteousness, all right. You speaking in the name of the Lord. You getting them bad spirits out of here, man. All right. Let's see what else. Um, actually, I missed uh, one scripture. Let me get Proverbs. Proverbs 24. Let me see. Proverbs 24 and 16. This is what I meant to uh, get also when keeping the commandments as well. All right. This is Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and rises again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right. Don't use this. Uh, don't use this scripture when you're trying to keep the commandments to you to the best of your ability. You know to make an excuse, man. Like, oh man, the just man is gonna fall seven times, man. All right, don't use this scripture to to keep on piling up iniquity upon iniquity. Use this scripture to understand.